Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Very quickly in this tutorial we're going to talk about saving freeform gradients. The problem with freeform gradients is that they're not easily saved in Adobe Illustrator but there is a possible workaround. I've been playing with these liquid lines lately and if you want to learn how to do them the link to the video is showing up in the top corner of the screen right now. But what we're interested in right at the moment is this freeform gradient. And here is the rectangle that has the freeform gradient applied to it. The possible solution you have for saving freeform gradients is to use graphic styles. So what we're going to do is open up the graphic styles panel, which you can get to by choosing window and then graphic styles. And with a shape selected that has a freeform gradient in it, as my rectangle does, you're just going to click on the plus sign and that will add that as a new freeform gradient. The problem is this is not accessible to any other files at all. So what we're going to do is click away from anything that is selected so we can concentrate on our graphic styles panel. I'm going to delete everything I don't need. So I'm going to click on the last graphic style, shift click on the first so that they're all selected and hit the delete graphic style button. Click yes to delete them. Now you're always going to be left with the default. So just ignore the fact that it didn't delete, but this is the one that we're interested in. To save it, we'll save this selection, you're going to the fly out menu, choose save graphic style library, and then you're going to give it a name. Now I'm going to just call this Freeform 2 because I have a few others. So let's just close this file for now. And I'm going to create a brand new file. So when I open the graphic styles in this new document, you'll see that there are no freeform gradients in it. But we did just save one, so let's see how we get it back. I'm going to the fly out menu. I'm going to open graphic style library, user defined. And here is our freeform gradient that we just created earlier. You can see that when we saved the file, even though we had default saved with the file, it's been dropped out because it's just there by default. So it will disappear. But we had to remove all these other graphic styles or they would be in this freeform collection. I'm just going to drag and drop it into here. And I can also click on it to apply it to this shape. Now it also has some other freeform gradients that I have saved previously. So I'm going to go and open that user defined library there in one called freeform gradient. And here I've got three styles. So I'm just going to click on each of them in turn and it just adds them to this library. So now I can experiment adding them to my shape. And if I find one I like, but I'd like to make edits to it, then I'm just going to my gradient panel. I'm going to click edit gradient. That gives me access to every one of these gradient stops and I can go and make changes to my gradient. If I want to save that again as a style, then I'm just going across here to the gradient styles panel. I'm going to hit the plus symbol to save it. And again, knowing that that's only saved into the current document. And if I want to save it permanently, I'm going to first of all, delete all the graphic styles that I don't want to keep. Let's just apply one that we do like. Let's go to the fly out menu, save graphic style library. And this time I'm going to put it in exactly the same area as I did last time, freeform two and click save. And yes, I do want to overwrite it. And so now in future, that Freeform 2 is going to have even more graphic styles in it. Let's just go and select it. You can see here that it's already open, but I could have opened it from the flyout here, user defined Freeform 2. And now it has five of these Freeform gradient graphic styles in it. It's a really nice way of saving freeform gradients, particularly since you tend to spend a bit of time putting them together. To be able to save them is really beneficial. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. 
using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.